never even asked. I think no, your I think your neighbors did that one time they were here and we didn't have it up. And then so this whole thing and now we're about to start. <laughs> and he's like, I don't think we're gonna use the speakers <laughs> now. No. <laughs> Whatever, uh, well, and the other thing is, is that uh, it it records better coming through here, into that with that's this. That's great. Just let's. Yeah, yeah that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, make sure that we're all tweeted. Yeah, and speaking of tweets, don't worry. We're going to get into that. Oh, I, mean, I could tweet at you as we were sitting here. Oh, no, no, we're uh, good. I'm just going to, yeah. Are you tweeting that from your account or from uh, your Some official Morrissey account? From <laughs> 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 no, my, my, my own. Or is it from the Smiths? I mean, I know you're a big Morrissey fan, right? Uh, or is it just that so, you look so, like so, Morrissey? Yeah, so, I don't know. Chris, somebody, we're going to talk about this, yeah. but Chris thinks you look like, just like the... So, the lead singer of the well, Smiths. It's more, more. Yeah, right. I know who he is. I don't okay. know. Who so there was a photo. So there was a photo when you were playing uh, in OKC. Yes, I took that photo. Right, I sent it out. I was like, it was amazing because I put the side by side. I was like, yeah. just it, there it is. We have Morrissey playing on the team. I like it. It was good. <laughs> oh, okay. Very famous '80s singer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. '80s. Dude, the women love him. Of course. Of course. Oh, we've, yeah, you, you have a, you have a present. I'm, I'm the living proof of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a you have a present for Vuko later on the show too, right? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Don't don't mind my daughters over here. They're just, they're just hanging out tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi. See them. Yeah. Yep. Hi. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. They'll just, they'll just be hanging out. Probably heckling a little bit. They never come, and they've been bugging me and bugging me. And so I said, fine. I really just wanted some food. Yeah, that's really that's yeah. probably <laughs> it. <That's, laughs> yeah. If they didn't come to the show, I probably wasn't going to feed them. Right? So. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah, we're recording. So oh, we're we going to go. Barcelona so fans, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I'm also. I'm also yeah. yeah. Well, there, well now. Dude, well, there we go. Yeah, I Good. Can't, I can't. I can't do that. I'm a United Sorry. guy, so. I'm a United and Barcelona fan, so I can't do that. Okay. Well, we can do this then. If yeah, you're a United guy, that's all right. Wow. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's cute. It's cute. Uh, it is the yeah, Permanent Relegation cute. Podcast. <laughs> uh, we're live at Chatham Tap and Fishers, as uh, we usually are on a Tuesday. I hope everybody had a great, uh, happy Fourth of July weekend. Happy birthday, America! Happy birthday, America! Uh, before we get started, we gotta thank Global Scarves. We don't even have a scarf here, do we? Mm-hmm. Where, where's it at? Uh, for making our awesome scarves. Always got it, man. Always got a scarf. There we go. Boom. Boom. Global Scarves, thank you very much. Very great scarf. And then also, thanks to Pro-Am Belt for making this. Now, question for you guys. Have you, are you familiar with the game Euchre at all? Have you heard people on the team talking about this um, yet? No, I have not okay. actually. Nope. Feel the weight of yeah, this yeah. thing. It looks this is legit. Yeah, it's a legit belt. This is legit. It's a, this, is, this is a championship belt for winning this our charity Euchre tournament. Every year, yeah. Every year we put on a charity card tournament. You got a few a card weeks. game. You could win. And oh, uh, I, th- I thought it was our NASL uh, championship. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as big, isn't it? Yeah. No, 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 the NASL is just holding out as long as possible to give you the guys the trophy. <laughs> yeah. They say it's going to be Saturday, but we'll oh, see I if they so. show up. I, that, hope so. I hope so. No, it's supposed I, to be. I, I that, mean, we got to work with the commissioner, so we have got time. <laughs> I know. we got to make sure that they can hey, get a belt, too. Don't worry, because yeah. if it was the Cosmos, you would have had that at least three weeks ago. It would have already been delivered. <laughs> probably the day before. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they, they were probably at New York while <laughs> while they were playing, yeah. etching in the name, and then all of a sudden they get it, and then it's going to be like a scratch, and then the 11 on the same. Right. They won't even put 11. It'll just be the XI. <laughs> <laughs> They'll try to figure out how to make Cosmos look like 11. Right. Uh, but uh, our, our Charity Euchre Tournament uh, starts July 20th yep. at 7 p.m. here. No, 6.30 p.m. here right. in Fishers uh, at the Chatham Tap. Uh, registration is $50. Covers your team. Yep. Uh, make sure to head out to permanentrelegation.com forward slash, uh, what is it, Game of Kings? Game of Kings Game I.I. Of Kings, I. I. Game of Kings I.I. I. Yes. Um, this year, it's, it's extra important because all the proceeds are going to go to Playworks Indie. Uh, for those of you that have been following... Obviously, this year we've been really heavily involved in, in our friends over at Bloody Shambles with uh, Playworks and the Aim and Zide rule. Um, really, really great that every goal that's been scored, we've been donating money to uh, Playworks. And then we just decided, you know what, this year, all that money that we're going to get from this tournament, we want to give to them because they're doing really great things with kids um, and helping those that aren't necessarily privileged enough to be able to get in organized sports and, and give them something to be able to do, which is awesome. Playworks India is, is fantastic organization. So... 
really happy we get to work with them this time. So yeah, get on the website, register. Spots are going to fill up fast. We're probably going to try to get at least 32 teams. I'd like, I'd like 32 teams. Uh, we did okay. 24 last year, so uh, you know that's eight get more. Get a chance to play against fans, against players. Yeah, against, right. I think Nikki and Nikki Amen, and maybe and Colin might be learning the game from Janicky. So that could be something that is is in the pipeline. You got, so. you got some weeks you can learn. Yeah, you got a few no, weeks. Absolutely. <laughs> Google works as well. I'm sure yeah, I can get the can, rules there's, on that. There's, there's YouTube. I mean, yeah. You could have brought, you could have brought some cards this time, like you did that yeah, one time. I we know. just, we just yeah. throw down. Probably got them. <laughs> but our guest this evening, we'll just get right to it. Uh, Indy Eleven Defender Extraordinary. No, wait, wait. Defender well, Midfielder Forward. <laughs> Extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nemanja Vukovic. I say that correctly? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, good. I always want to make... Yeah, this is the one where I'm going to be... I think at this point... From he, now on, he allows anything from Nemanja, Nemanja, <laughs> Nemanja to anything. I think no, he allows... Just, yeah, just, 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 just don't say Nemanja. Yeah. No, Nemanja? Nemanja. No, it's okay, very, it's a soft... Right. It's a soft J. Listen, okay. I learned I learned from <laughs> Dragon last year where he was... Everything, he's like, no, these J's. Yeah, which yeah. Which you need to understand. Yeah. Put him as wise. Like, Stoikov. Stoikov, right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And then Sanisha Ubi Parapovich. No wise there. Right. Right. It's easier. right. No soft J's. Right. <laughs> yeah. No yogging. But we're just yeah. going to go from now on. Just go Sini and Avuko. Yeah. Is that good? Perfect. Does that work? Okay. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> that it's way better. it's going to save. It's more easy. It's more easy for everyone. The show would be an extra hour long if we have to say their name every time. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a lot to talk about. We haven't been on... Uh, in a couple of weeks, obviously the fall season started. The Pachuca game happened. Uh, the Puerto Rico game happened. Um, I want to talk a little bit about that Puerto Rico game, and then we can kind of go into your story a little bit about how you guys started playing soccer. Those guys were assholes out there. I mean, they were playing hard. And I'd say, I'd say I tweeted. I said, "Listen, there's being aggressive, and there's there's really trying to protect your home turf on your home opener." But then there's the line where you tow where you're being reckless and you're you're putting people in danger where you can get people injured. And I said, and, and Puerto Rico's at this point is really towing that line hard. And it, it was kind of scary to watch on some of those because you go, oh, the field is already really bad. And you got to worry. I'm I'm going, I'm praying for ACLs. I'm going, God, everybody's ACLs stay together. <laughs> then you got people coming in all crazy, like just trying to make an impression. So I mean, what was that down there? I mean, yeah, to be honest, really. I, I was at first about field. Field is like is it is it really terrible? It's, was it uh, one of the worst fields you've ever played on? Uh, I mean, is it worse than Jacksonville? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely. It, I mean, what was the uh, Velcro one? The Velcro is okay. Oh, see, Oklahoma about, City. Uh, I, I that mean, was like, one of your favorites. <laughs> you know what? That is different because the Oklahoma is a turf field. Yeah, yeah. Here is grass. You know, so I don't want to compare turf and, and grass, but of fields where you play on the grass, is, this this field is terrible. Right. So. It was soft and really, really bad. But how they start first 20 minutes, 25 minutes, they looking just to kick someone. Yeah, I mean, they, it, it they looked like they were trying to make for, a point. For the ball or yeah. something like that. They, they just looking for, okay, kick someone, <laughs> maybe get some injury, get, get yeah. out yeah. or something. I don't know. But it's, it's also, it looks like really bad. And the referees stay on their day, day side. He, he, did, he don't want to protect us, nothing. So it's maybe some yellow card, maybe maybe some, I don't know, maybe it's a red card, especially on the Justin Brown. And, yeah, that, and was, yeah get, that was like in the first like 10 minutes of the game, wasn't it? Yeah, so he's, and he, he doesn't say anything about it. So he come to show him like, look, you want to say me that this is happened just, <laughs> just from, Sorry. from <laughs> some guys or something like that, you know? So somebody hit me. So you need to, you need to get yeah. give some yellow cars, right. just something. You know, he said no, 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 everything is fine. <laughs> so it was like really tough. Twenty first twenty five minutes. After that, they also they play again again hard, but they're losing like um, I don't know fitness or yeah. Yeah. What, they're starting to get gassed uh, out yeah, because they're trying to kill you for the first twenty. We try to we try to keep the ball to play and really we. It was like we had like 50 sample, uh, right? 57 percent, yeah, yeah, of the possession. So, I mean, unlucky goal against us again. How is goal start? Brad is get uh, got kick uh, yeah. with yep. elbows. He, he was on the ground, they yeah. didn't want to kick the ball on the, on the trying to play fair play, but we need to keep going to play un until the whistle, right? right. But, um, 
nobody expected that they will really continue to play. Um, but we show like every single time that we don't give up like right away yeah. after that and yeah. we play until last seconds, no last minutes and until last seconds. So it was good for us to, to play tight to to again win one one point is one point is better than 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 lost, all right? And I mean especially I, against I mean we we need to take that points, you know. Yeah. After after everything really really happy with one point. Well, right? especially within the first ten minutes too, you have a goal call back which was ridiculous. First off, there was I don't know where this foul was. So out of all the things you're not gonna call fouls on or you're not gonna give yellow cards on, it's like you're gonna call that as a foul, take our take the goal away. You go, okay, so there was one that's gone and then right, then you get the unlucky goal. And I think it's funny, especially for you, talk about fighting to the end as started to W Mr. 90 minute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just something about like, no, this whole team, they just come together and it's right until that final whistle blows. You guys just don't quit. And it's, there was two. I, I think the, the service, the first service you put in was phenomenal, was great. And then, so it's like, can we go two for two on this where you get it in, somebody gets ahead because the one Lavelle put on, yeah. I thought that was good. And that yeah. was just, that was hard, but it was just, just yes, right at him. Straight, was straight on, he was lucky. The, yeah. The goalie was lucky yeah. in that play. Yeah. 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 And then the one that Eula put in, obviously, that was another beautiful ball inside. Fantastic to you for that. Because, I mean, too, because you got to figure, okay, I put the first one in, second one, now there's even more pressure. And yeah. it's like, no, no, I got it. And, no. and, <laughs> and, and, and then I love the fact that <laughs> there's no way I'm taking this to this some bitch in front of me moves back because this dude keeps trying to creep. And you're like, you're yelling twice at the ref. Look, he's like 10 feet away from me. I'm going to kick Move you right him. in the face. I'm like, get him away. Like, and he just kept trying. Um, and Vuka did a good job because yeah. I think he's, he stole about 10 yards in that play. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, which, right. Which, yeah, that's, 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 that's true. I was going to say. Why, why he was close to me because he was, he was like, like Sini said, like, I stole like 10 yards for sure because I want to just put a little bit to, to be, to be close to the ref goal. Ref turned his know? head for a second and he, yeah, yep. just yeah. okay. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that was, that was the same as uh, Nikki. Nikki wasn't even taking those corners from the corner. Oh, yeah. No, he was three, four feet. No, no. no. He was no, three, he four was, feet he, off. Oh, yeah. You, you, no, he you, was you off the right. line. Uh, yeah. I was looking at that and I, and I said, <laughs> I was like, this is the corner and the, the ball was placed like right uh, there. No, no, but, it was like three feet off. It was that's, awesome. Uh, it was good. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that's a referee's job, oh, sure. job yeah. to see that. And I mean, yep. if you don't see somebody doing that, <laughs> right. three, you know, two, three feet away from, you know, from the, yeah, right. where it should be. Yep. I mean, how can you see if, ball, if, if, ball, how, can you see, how can you see if the ball crosses the line yeah. at some point, yeah. like, you know, or, you know, as Vuka said, it, you know, I think the referees didn't do a good job from the, from the start of the game because they came out aggressive. And as you said, there's a certain, there's a certain line where, you know, too aggressive, yeah. you know, is you need to, you know, you need to cart somebody right. that way that it calms yep. down the game and then, and right. everybody walks away with, uh, you know, with no injuries and yeah that's the big key so you just don't want to have somebody no, wasted for no reason to prove a point what were you trying to prove that oh we're aggressive and we're a powerful yeah. team no you we're just new here and we're gonna right. we're gonna make our but make our stance yeah you know it, it, it might be that you know the style they want to play and, and they, yeah. they definitely did not play uh you know short passing right. game or anything like that which which yeah. shows showcase you know the certain quality i think they, they went more for power and, and aggressiveness and you know uh, making uh, a lot of a lot of you know, Stopping the plays. I, th I think this this game we had the the most um, fouls for us, and yeah. in the final third we had uh, a lot of uh, restarts, yeah. and that shows what kind of game, you know, yeah. what kind of game it was. There was, uh, you know, the, the flow was stopped after, you know, yeah. a few seconds. I of, think the know, funniest so. part too, um, and you mentioned the Nikki corner, and I, yeah. I messaged you when we were watching the game, where about the pitch where he's just standing on the side and he's like stomping on the field throwing the ball on the ground like and just shaking his head about how awful it looked like somebody ran a horse race on it after it was done i mean it was just bombed out <laughs> i mean mr anthony might might have to uh, <laughs> yeah, put a little bit more yeah. money into that yeah. well, well, that's, that's, that's a national thing. that's yeah, a that's national where, team stadium yeah, yeah. that's where Puerto but, Rico but they, plays also, their they also play team. baseball in there though yeah. too i guess so yeah. I mean, they have other sports that they play, baseball so. if anything they, it saves the field <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're they're pull, pull some of that up they're they're and have it. some dirt there yeah, yeah. all right yeah. <laughs> this is looking like like really wild grass yeah looks like grass for the for the pitch so right soccer field so <laughs> it's like really I mean, it was crap. weeds. It was it's just somebody needs to go in there. I weed. saw like picture on the NSL official side. I said like, "Hey, Shane, look, 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 Phil, this looks amazing." He said, "Oh, yeah, amazing." And we, when he, when he came in Puerto Rico, he, his friend playing for Puerto Rico, and 
he told him like it's it feels, not it's it not feels, <laughs> that's it's called photoshop the picture. That's it's just a picture you know <laughs> so it's like something something another something different it's like so when it's, you go to mcdonald's you want to you want a really nice chicken sandwich that looks really good and you get like a yeah. quarter size sandwich that is yeah. Yeah. smashed yeah. down something and have like that. Something <laughs> like that. Mm, that's so good something like that so what we usually like to do here is just kind of get people an idea of how you guys kind of started playing the game you know what brought you to, especially with both of you guys what brought you to america and uh it, do you guys uh, want anything any any beer what do you, anything nope. sure you good? you good okay, okay. Uh, all right make sure uh, this is anytime you want more water just let maz know or more yeah. coke people, no, people are used I to the stop in this okay. right yeah yeah people used to stop in it because we will go yeah more beer <laughs> <laughs> um but uh and then kind of what brought you to indy so um whoever would like to go first Let's go with those. Yeah, and and you have two ways of doing it. One is just by by summary, and the other way is the aim and side way, oh which God. gives you like dates. He actually just, gave dates. He calendared it out. Go from <laughs> from 2002 to 2003. I was this. Is, yeah, and it takes 40 minutes because you have to explain everything that you ever did. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if we're gonna go that route, <laughs> I suggest the money to order some food and <laughs> yeah. for a second. Sit back, start a fire. <laughs> no, I started playing. Um, my first steps were with my dad. And he, yeah. You know, he played semi-pro back home, and then. Um, and where's we, home? Uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Okay. Uh, city called Zenica, where a uh, national team plays now. Um, and then, and the team from that city was uh, between first division and second division in former Yugoslavian league, which yep. was uh, at the huge. time a very yeah huge yeah. league, and you know, right. probably top five in Europe. So first steps were with him. And, you know, he take me to parks and you know uh, show me you know a trick or two. You know, just. Mess around, yeah. and then uh, when I was um, eight eight years old, he took me to a, a, a local team that that team that yeah. played, and uh, and I started in the academy. And then um, uh, once the war broke out, um, yeah. we had to leave, and then uh, we went to a different city that where I, I also joined the uh, um, an academy. Uh, and I grew up playing there till I moved to the states till I was uh, fourteen and a half. Uh, Came to the states. Um, so, real, real is quick. this short enough for you? No, guys? no, no, it's no, good. no, 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 no. Listen, no, real quick because both of you, it's so this year we talked about having players that you know have a little more uh, experience on them, if you will. So we have a couple thirty plus players, thirty year players here. We like so, when thirty year olds come well, on the show. Well, well, because, well, here's the I'm thing. Twenty two. Twenty two. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Right. That, that's so. That's why he always has his shirt off, just walking. He's like, look, I'm still twenty two. Twenty two. <laughs> right. Um, shirtless <laughs> Fugo. Right. Yeah, yeah. So. We'll get to that later. So <laughs> when you talk about, yeah, when the war broke out, obviously you were at an age where you're old enough where when it happened, um, so you're 32, correct? Yes. Yeah, so you've been nine, eight, eight, yeah, nine. Like yeah. That. So uh, what kind of effect in, in, in how close to you, right where you lived, I mean, how I impactful was that? In, in did you stay where you were? Uh, the history buff is yeah, starting to turn. It was, turn about, it was about, you know, a few kilometers away yeah. from my house and when I was happening throughout the city and um, – um, you know, we had to leave for the, you know, uh, for the safety of the family. Sure, and then sure. it, 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 I mean, it affected you great, greatly because uh, not maybe me, because I, I just made friends and I just started going to school playing soccer. So I'm, I'm still young, but I think it affected my parents yeah. a lot more since they had their the entire lives in that. In that yeah, city they were and, more grounded and yes, you were like, okay. well, let's go. And they had to pick <laughs> up, you know, uh, you know, stuff and leave and go, go to a, go to a different place, uh, different city. Yeah. Um, and then you know, once we got there, it was you know, it was the same uh, similar scenario. You know, you settle. Uh, you know, there's obviously a lot of refugees going. Uh, right. You know, everywhere. Yeah. Everybody's looking. You know, sure for their fit type of thing, and where they have family, where they know somebody, and you know, stuff like that. Thanks. So, no, I mean, not not to bring a bad memories on there, but it's just it, a lot of people over here. Right, I am a history guy, uh, a geography and history guy, and in any time that I get somebody uh, that comes on, that's you know. Uh, and it was the same when we were talking with, with, with Dragon as well. And, and it's just because when we think about growing up and playing soccer here, there's not necessarily a giant life-changing struggle that happens where you go, you know, and when we were talking to Dragon, he's like, no, you know, when you're at 15, you make a decision. You either go pro or you go to school. You, you don't do both. You, yeah. you have to make decisions. And, like, I had to sign a contract. The, and it, the, 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 I mean, that's, that's the system back home, and that's the right. system throughout Europe. The Europe. Yeah. See, like, we uh, don't understand that here. Yeah. Right. Because when you get to a certain uh, age, there are obviously youth programs. Right. Youth ages, to, and when you get to a certain level, you either sign a uh, contract for the first team 
Yep. Or you can, or you continue your education, or you go, or you go find a different club that will sign you um, professional, professionally. Whether it's yeah. whether it's in the same yeah. league, whether it's in the lower league, whether it's uh, you look for again, you look for your yeah. fit where you, you know where, you, where you're gonna yeah. be. It's, it's it's not like oh I, I go play at the university and after university there's a draft that, that does not exist. Uh, university teams don't exist. Yeah. Uh, so that that is the, that is just yeah. there. So, I mean, you go to school well, with your team, team basically, basically, right? It's too late with, with 21, 22 to go into professional soccer <laughs> in, the, okay. in Europe. Sure, be playing. Okay, I mean, right. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it makes sense. So that's, that's the only reason why I bring I asked that because it, it's like it's not that you just skirt right over that, but it's like that happened. I moved. I kept going, and it's just it's a different hardened type of culture where it's like it's been a thousand years of of of, of all types of conflicts. So it's just kind of one of those things where you go. You know, this is what happened. I continue to play soccer. Here I am. So let's keep moving. Where it's like, I feel like here in the states, it's something like that. Oh, and then there was that event in '92, and <laughs> and it just, you know, it really broke me down. And it's like, but nobody you talk to, they don't. It, there's never that type of reflection when you talk about it. It's just, this is what happened. It was a major event, but moving on, we persevered. <laughs> We're strong. Here we are. Right. I'm gonna yeah, tighten so, this. Yeah. I mean the. <laughs> we do oh. random fixes right there. Even, Fixing, even even going to a, uh, to a there you go to a different it's part, you know, a, a, yeah. where, where the war was <laughs> right. I mean, war was on. It was yeah. going on. We still had the uh, which I, when I was telling some people here that they, they did not understand it. We still had the the league for the youth and and then the first league, um, and the people were going to school like you know almost like nothing is happening because you have to yeah. right. I mean, you it, have to act like it's just another day it, yeah it's it's because if you don't then i mean you're gonna lose you know you're gonna lose a lot of time you're gonna, you're gonna i mean you're gonna lose a lot of your life and yeah. then um you know, but, the, but for them it was yeah it's happening uh we you know people defend their homes and whatnot but uh, you also have to live I yeah mean, so so it wasn't and i moved here when i was 14 and a half um did you want to i mean was it one of those things where did you get to a certain age where you're like, I'm gonna, I want to go to the states, or was it? Just it wasn't a, like my parents. My parents, uh, they, they, uh, they wanted a, a better life and future for me and my brother. Um, so did you guys so, both come? Yes. Younger or older brother? Uh, younger brother. Okay. Uh, so you know, it was pretty much looking for an opportunity. It was again, again, it wasn't an easy decision on their part either because they have to leave again. Uh, yeah. Their life that sure. they just built <laughs> yeah, in, right. in the last five years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you leave your entire family and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you know their family like both of my grandparents um, died in, during this transition so my father didn't have um, hasn't haven't did not see his parents uh, for like for years you know before yeah. passing and then when the when they passed we just moved here so we didn't even have the documents proper documents to go back for them to visit so it was like a heart of them and stuff like that so but for me and my brother, we were kept. I mean, we knew about it, but we were kept away from, from you know, uh, you know, obviously through soccer, through sports. Right. Met people in Cleveland when we moved to Cleveland uh, to play youth to play youth club. Yeah. Uh, so the guy who I played for in the youth club later became my uh, godfather. Uh, he helped us a lot, you know, during that time. In, um, Cleveland or Akron? Cleveland. It was Cleveland. I, okay. I just went to school. Akron. Oh, in Cleveland. Uh, okay. Cleveland. Yep. Uh, and. Um, after that, uh, a few years of playing, you know, club soccer there. Yeah. Again, met new friends, met new people, and learned the language. Um, started going, you know, started going to university, and then um, after university, uh, after university, there's, you know, there was an opportunity to play pro, which was something that I wanted to do since since the first day sure. I went to, I went to training at the age right. of eight, and uh, went to New York, uh, spent some you know beautiful years there uh, yeah. uh, met some great people worked with some uh, some great coaches um, some I mean uh, two of them now are national team coaches one for Mexico one for Finland um, and all the other ones are still within MLS yeah. um, some of them they even play their coaches now that I play with their coaches now and within in MLS so uh, they, that period in, in New York was great because it was my first contract and uh, I was at the Probably at the best years of my life, living in the best city in the world and playing for you know one of the best, yeah. one of the best teams in the league. So that was great. And after that, uh, moved out, uh, moved to Montreal. Right. So you were there actually when they were in ASL. I, I went the there half, right, halfway through their last season in ASL. And right when they went to MLS. And then just right. and just joined in an MLS and spent right. two years there with them uh, in MLS. And then um, 
uh, went back to NASL with uh, Ottawa Fury with yep. uh, uh, you know Mark. Yeah. Um, he was a great guy. Now he's at Kansas City and um, spent some you know uh, great you know had some great time there at Ottawa as well. And just going back to Montreal to mention, yeah. so people don't say that I don't like my uh, <laughs> yeah, people don't think I don't like Montreal. <laughs> Because um, I was speaking Ottawa's about Ottawa's amazing, uh, yeah. Montreal. Eh, I was speaking yeah. about New York and, and, and Ottawa. Like those uh, French Canadians, I tell you what. Eh, no, I, I'm just kidding. I, I enjoyed Montreal probably as, uh, as much as New York, and, and, and in some ways even more because I feel like the uh, cool. soccer fans there are uh, yeah. educated about the game and, and they appreciate right. the game. They more of a European crowd. Yes. yes. So yeah. playing there was uh, phenomenal. Play, you know, again with some uh, good, good coaches and good players and, and uh, by my side, and 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 to learn from them. Just like you know, in New York, uh, it's a tremendous experience. It's something that you know, it doesn't come you know yeah. often for a lot of players. Right. Um, and then you know, going to uh, to Ottawa, um, my first year was a you know a little bit of struggle up and down. Um, uh, but I think overall for the first year team, we had the decent season, and then that kind of helped us yeah. go, help going into the next year. We kept almost everybody. Uh, for the second year, we just had a couple of couple additions with uh, you know, fall we came on right. and a couple other uh, Brazilian guys, um, yeah. uh, Paulo and, and Rafa, yep. from uh, they're still in Ottawa, and you know that, I think that helped us propel because when you have the when you have the team's chemistry building yep. for over you know over the course of like a period of time, and it obviously helps you transition into a new year, right. and then. Um, uh, we started slow. Everybody knows that. Everybody remembers. We started oh, yeah. slow in the spring, and you we didn't know. Came on fire and we didn't know. <laughs> and we didn't know what's gonna happen, you know. But we knew it was kind of like, um, like Ruko said, going back to that, like uh, you know, we're getting, we're getting, you know, uh, some ties, and it's good. We're not, you know, because we're not losing. Um, and that that was a that was a thing for us that like uh, in the spring, last three or four games, we got we got ties, and we just said we're gonna tighten up in the back, make sure we we're good there, and then we're gonna build, or yeah. and then and then. Once the once we came back and fall season started, and we started like, you know, obviously winning a lot more than tying or losing. So right, that, I mean that that you know, right. yeah. uh, I think from spring season going from ninth place, I think something like that, eighth yeah. place, yeah. something yeah. like that. Um, ended up finishing first in the fall, and then also tied for the points. Right, which I still think we should have won that. <laughs> uh, I've never heard of uh, the the official reason. I've never yeah, I've never heard that that. Uh, the the uh, the the, um, the tiebreaker for tiebreaker yeah, yeah. for is goal the goal scored throughout the, throughout the season. I mean, it, we had everything was even, and we had a better right. head-to-head score. But the thing is, they said um, uh, who scores more goals? Who scores more goals? But I mean, th- if we have the same uh, right, that means that you just concede more. I mean, right. how, how does right. that? I mean, it's just one thing that I, I you know I think the league could have, could have done but better. It, with, it, it with came down to in spring season, same deal. Where you yeah. go, it's the goal differential. Okay, so we, now we have to score four in the final game to win this. Okay, let's yeah, do that. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds yeah, that, good. You know, right? the, the, yeah. The, the the thing is, like, uh, if it was a different rule, uh, we would go into that uh, Carolina game completely different. Completely different yeah, because yeah. we only needed to win. I mean, in the normal world, in like yeah. in a lot of the other leagues, two one game, one nil game. Is a win because we have a better head-to-head. Than, right. Uh, yeah. You can say over in Europe where they know what they're doing. What? Well, no. <laughs> no. They use goal differential in La Liga. Same deal. Like they, oh, no, they do, but they don't. Yeah. Do, they, uh, they do the goal differential and then it goes head-to-head. It's right. Not, it's not goal yeah, differential yeah, yeah. and right. then goals four. Right. I mean, yeah, which, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then yes. head-to-head. It's, head-to-head like, right. it's, yeah, it's the other yeah. way around. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Because yeah, it's exactly. Back to spring. All we had to look at is fine. You want to decide who's won between New York and that. Well, head to head. How about that? Here <laughs> yeah. you go. So yeah, we'll yeah. Talk about- and yep. to wrap it up, and that's a little yeah. bit. Of, that's a little bit about you know um, how I came to this country, and a little bit about my background. There's obviously a lot more, which yeah. um, um, but that's I'm, coming I'm, out. I'm, the gonna, book. I'm gonna write about. I'm gonna write a book. Um, <laughs> right, a book coming out. Look this for fall. guys next fall. Um, <laughs> Barnes and Nobles. Okay. Uh, so just don't put it in the borders. Look forward to that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't put it in the borders. <laughs> Great, Great uh, book. Yeah. One, of the, one of the things you uh, you touched on before we get to Vuco is. The Ottawa in, in building chemistry, it's kind of the exact opposite though here, because you were one of the first signees. Like you were essentially one of the first new guys. Once everybody, once they kind of revamped everything, they kept like the course seven ish, and then you know Cindy was announced. And how do you explain the, the chemistry with this team? clicking so fast versus something like Ottawa where it's like it takes a while for us to get going. Yeah, but I think um, 
going going to our chemistry here, I think it also um, goes to the experience of the guys. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of guys with, uh, with some great experience, and then um, even such a great it, way it, of saying that, isn't it? Like when you could say. It's the experience. We have experienced players. No, we, we do. We do have. We do have an. We do have an experienced squad, and even when the things are not going well on the field, we somehow manage, right, to get result and to come out, you know, uh, uh, with a with a positive with a positive result at the end. And I think that goes, uh, as I said, with with a lot of the experience. A lot of the guys are thirty, close to thirty, a little yeah. bit above thirty. Sure. Um, so. Chemistry is a thing that it keeps, you know, it keeps building with this team, and I think, uh, I don't think we're nowhere near where, you know, uh, where like where you can say it's perfect. There's no such thing as perfect, but I think we still have a lot of room to uh, to improve from all from all aspects um, okay. of the game. It's, I mean, we all look every day to improve. Uh, you know, it's so that's the, I mean, that's how you don't get lazy too, though. Is it just you can't yeah, be like absolutely. Hey, I mean, we're we, winning, and yeah, we want to win. You know, we want to win. Uh, all of our games. Yeah. I mean, I don't think the goal is to go <laughs> tying 30 games. So no. Yeah. Well, there was even some supporters that were like, "Hey, watch this." <laughs> 20 right. left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's, yeah, sure. We and want to win, obviously. So. It's 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 a nice. It's it's refreshing. Is probably the best way to use that. Is yeah. it refreshing to be to be able to see you guys constantly want to, and even from your coach saying, "Hey, we're not going to rest on." winning the spring i mean we're gonna keep going and keep going and keep going well and at this point you can see because there's moves that are made where I, i'll tell you in the in the previous two years it would be you get down one I and mean, you get towards the end or whatever and and the subs will come in and they wouldn't be aggressive subs whereas every game and you look at puerto rico is another example the subs that come in are not those to just try to defend and try to do damage control it's no, let's, let's go. Points. Let's go get some points. Right, we got to do something. So and we we had to be that way, you know, being down and making subs. You want them to go out there and be aggressive, and you want them to get something, you know, uh, out of yep. it. And you know, luckily for us, uh, they came on and made a difference. Yeah, and, you know, uh, one scored a goal. You know, Vuko's great cross. So. Yeah, Thanks. Vuko. So speaking Ms. of Vuko, <laughs> right? So Mr. Uh, NASL player of the player week. of the week. The Oh, the, right. the the, the Nemanja Vukovic uh, NASL Player of the Week winner Nemanja Vukovic <laughs> <laughs> is he Player of the Week this week? Because I haven't checked. Uh, no, I. Uh, yeah, I, I think, tomorrow, I think the voting tomorrow. is still. He's still tomorrow. Yeah, yes, voting. Tomorrow. Voting's still available. I, so go online. I and said immediately. NASL. I was like, well, here comes number seven right here. <laughs> I was like, absolutely. So, it's, I hope so. Right. Some about Indy Eleven and defenders getting Player of the Weeks because it was Norales almost every week last year. Yeah. Yep. So. It's it's just something about it. I think the Wallace got player of the week um, uh, last year. And I think when he wasn't even on the field. With <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, he came that. in. No, he came Who in as a guy? sub with <laughs> five minutes left, yeah, and they're like yeah, player of the week. Yeah. He just stepped on. He, the field. he made I, he made a great play. I had to be the other guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to be the other guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got to get special boots. I like no, I think I think he's ahead of him by now. Yeah, oh, oh, I would probably probably yeah. I'd probably guess. I think you are ahead of him by now for sure. And you're playing, so there's that. Uh, but it's true. <laughs> Even if Eamon tries to keep you out of a game because he's going, no, no, I need to get the awards. I know I can keep Vuko out. I'll just knock his head open, and then he won't be able to play. I'll be, oh, yeah, let's talk about it. So, so Vuko was supposed to be on last week, last show with Marco, with Marco and then yeah. about 6.30-ish, I get a phone call, or I get a text from Kluder saying, well, Vuko's not coming. And we're like, oh, uh, he's okay. in the hospital. <laughs> I'm like, what? Really? What? So did your head look like Justin Bronze, like with just blood everywhere? I heard it was, I mean, it was, I heard it was bad. Bad. Justin Bronze is nothing. I mean, <laughs> that's his baby. He's baby just scarf. A baby He's scarf. scarf. <laughs> baby scarf. Yeah. No, seriously. I mean, so you guys were going up for a ball, eleven v eleven. He, and yeah, we, we scrimmage on, like on the field, and it was one cross from uh, I don't know, his uh, dom or. Duke, Duke, I think so. Duke, 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 yeah, Duke, I think so. And Eminem was behind me. I want to just clear that ball, and I cleared that ball, and he. Dude, Eminem's head is huge. What are yeah, you thinking? I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a he's giant. Ireland, are you talking about his Ireland, physical head or his Ireland, ego? He almost killed you. Ireland, <laughs> that, that thing. Ireland, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, he's like, yeah, he's huge, really huge head. So. <laughs> We can't expect nothing then no. then scar from my head. He probably just head, stood there and so. looked at you and said, Wow, how'd that happen? He just he, nothing. Yeah, I mean right. Yeah. I just checked my like head. Oh, okay, I, I 
I felt like I felt like oh some holes over here like something, <laughs> some, something something's bad so <laughs> let's go on the ground and yeah. yeah after that Brian has told me that just like blood is like yeah. spurting out yeah that's yeah. the story we got too that's Marco like, said it was just yeah. like squirting Cine, Cine, when, when he come to check me like oh I'm not good <laughs> <laughs> City no probably need blood, some so. like, walk, I walked away um, <laughs> so he's just like okay I don't know what he's like I'm not good with blood I, I can't wanna, do this I don't want to look this <laughs> you know you don't know you don't know how serious it is and sure. you don't want to be on top of the guy who's yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. get a you know fresh air and just right. let him like calm down a little bit yeah. if everybody's any head injury it's yeah, always yeah, a little iffy. give him like yeah. time and space but, to like you know and then to I, have brian come in i mean yeah right we want somebody who knows what he's doing <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. but i after that i really feel good so yeah it's not nothing happened i, I don't want to like knock down or something like that i was like all the time like good you know and just go straight in the hospital for a couple of stitches 13 14 i don't know <laughs> yeah that's a couple <laughs> yeah just couple. apparently and overseas i'm so sorry a couple is 13 to me, yeah. to me so last last week it was last week oh two weeks ago yeah. two weeks ago yeah, two weeks so ago. i'm here right hey, now you're back so no, memory, okay. yeah. no memory loss yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kidding, no. no memory loss <laughs> yeah. that's good it's good all right so tell us your story what story. is the vuco story well something <laughs> same like, <laughs> He's like some, yeah, something said, the same yeah. like like cine just uh i didn't flat like uh too much from of of the war, like like Sydney, because in my country it was like a little bit, little bit quiet. And Where are you from originally? I am from Montenegro. Okay, so that's yep. born with uh, Bosnia. So is there is was like okay, it's nothing serious, mm, no bomb or something like that. So is yep. is was okay. And my first like uh, soccer practice was like. And I was like six, six or uh, I think six, six years old. Yeah. And I started to uh, in the like academy, like school, soccer school. Actually, it's called there no academy, so soccer school. Yeah. In the best club in 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 my country, F FC Budućnost, that is the probably like top five, top six clubs in ex Yugoslavia, big Yugoslavia. And it yeah. was like how many years? Twenty five years ago and i mean like Cindy said like uh, or you said you you had to choice when i when you was like 16 yeah you, between soccer or or school so i think for Cindy is, is what is was the same so when i started with six years old i do practice every single day yeah you know yeah and here is really different so I start to play like on the youth. Uh, I don't know how is youth seven, youth eight. How is how is the there is age like Petlici, Pioneer. Yeah. I don't know how is it's different names. That it's, you got like different uh, names. You got so pioneers. Yeah. Okay. Then you have cadets. Okay. And then you have then, juniors. Yeah, yep. juniors. And then then first, the first team. team. Okay. So oh, wow. I okay. I go through all that selection in that club and. With 16, I signed my first professional contract with them, and I was at that club like uh, first uh, next four years. Then I moved in one another club also in Montenegro. That that times that that club is playing the first division in uh, Serbia and, Mon and Montenegro because we already right right split, yeah, yep, split, split from yep. everybody yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. just just stay Serbia and Montenegro and then just like after one year I was with that club and I I come back in the same club in my hometown club Budućnos again and after that I, w I went in uh, Greece three years yeah. in in Greece I, I had like great times it's really nice and great weather great league uh, great country so it was amazing, really, and I was, <laughs> I would like to stay there, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like it here right now, yeah, yeah. but no, I, but let's go back to Greece. Uh, I'd probably choose of, Greece over Indianapolis, Of too. course, but no, no. A couple, no, better, no, couple no. better beaches, that's it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. just a couple. No, I, I chose now USA, definitely, but uh, that time, it was like really three years amazing, three years for me and in life. and. Well, well how and, old were you at that point? Uh, probably like what 25 26 yeah 20 
funny. funny? Like, oh, come on. on. I, no, I'm just kidding. Um, it was like funny. Uh, or 24, I don't know. Right. Yeah, so of course. I'm listening. You're yeah. in your mid 20s, 24, 25. You're in great shape. You're in great shape. 24, 24. Yeah, yeah. 24. I'm not leaving Greece till I'm 37. <laughs> no, right, right. I wonder no. why he had such a good time in Greece. Uh, it was 24 because I I came in uh, in USA in Columbus Crew with uh, 27. Yeah. So yeah, 24. When I go first, when I when the first time in uh, in Greece. Yeah, and from from the Greece, I. I returned and at home and just looking for some club and I, I got the opportunity to, to come in USA in MLS. To be honest, I didn't watch before that like MLS and I know that it's just coming like Beckham and a lot of guys, yeah. you know, huge right. names and I said like, okay, let's let's try, why not, you know? And right away after first year in Columbus, I said, okay, it's it's good league and everything. and But it happened many things and they didn't stay in USA. I, I had like a couple options to stay in MLS, but you know, it's soccer life. Like right. one one bad decision, and yeah. you know, I said, okay, go. Then I go home again, and I was there like one year, and I, I got called from Sacramento 2014, yeah. and I was already married you know and one kid so i said like because in in my country right now is for life is a little bit tough you know it's, it's yeah. hard if you don't have some your own business or something like that is really hard, hard for 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 live and you can, i can play there for the best team yeah. in, in the league but that's that's not the same as that's if you were the same you know there. yeah so you you can you can make money there so I said, okay, let's let's try and go there. Maybe one, two years good in Sacramento. Maybe and maybe I can like go the again worst in part of MLS. California. That was like the worst part of California, like dead in the <laughs> center. There's no beaches. There's nothing there. I mean, no, it's, no, it's Sacramento. It's, nice it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's nice city to be honest. Like yeah. uh, it's a San Diego or like LA or one hour, <laughs> one hour like uh, San Francisco from Sacramento. Right. Yeah. Uh, like uh, the ho Salt Lake Tahoe is uh, right. one hour or so two hours. I know yep. exactly. So it's really nice. You can go in the San Francisco. You can go in the winter time for skiing yep. Tahoe, Tahoe. So yep. it's really nice. And I had a great time in Sacramento, to be honest. And I mean, it's no Greece, but still. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's not Greece, but you know. We had we had somebody online that you know, just Borat. You know, <laughs> yes, yes, it's nice. We had it's somebody, very nice. We had somebody online say, "Wait." V Vuko liked Greece. Well, we know where the sh shirtless Vuko was born because obviously it was just it's a Greece yeah. shirt off was, all the time. It was just three years of just nonstop shirt off. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it, it's just like twenty four hours uh, party in the beach. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> did you did I you mean. play soccer at all while you were there? <laughs> a, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I can, Vuko found out he could play really well hungover. That's basically <laughs> what he learned. This is amazing. <laughs> I can sweat it all out real fast down here. Especially when you're younger. Yeah, no, yeah, of, course. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, you through, bounce you know, right back up. Yeah. Once you hit that 30 threshold, you're like, I'm way too old for this. Two day yeah. recovery. Go <laughs> home. <laughs> exactly. It's that second day burn. So you're in Sacramento. Yeah. And then, then, I mean, I had like some, some again. Of, Again, some contacts with them, some MLS teams, but in the eleven it was like really, really like direct, and they just offered me contract. Um, actually, they they was like more serious than every everyone, Everybody you know. Yeah, yeah. And I said, okay, last time when I was in Columbus Crew, I made a bad, bad decision because I said, okay, I want to wait for that team for one team, never mind. And it didn't happen, you know. So and you I said, no, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for yeah for MLS, something another, ML, yeah. in MLS. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna take this opportunity. And NSL, I hear that is is good league. And you know, said okay, let's do it. And so, I think it's really good, good decision for me. And especially now when I, when I, I can so that my family is really happy here in 
Indianapolis. So it's a terrible place for families. Good. Indianapolis. <laughs> uh, no, I mean it's you know it's rated as one of the worst. No, it's actually really good for families. That's yeah, right. It's one yeah. of the best no, places to raise I mean, family. Yeah, I mean I I like it's the same like Sacramento actually. You know, yeah. it's quiet city. So for me, with two kids and wife, is perfect. You know. Yep. So I don't I don't need something like um, Chicago or yeah. New York. Miami, or something Greece. like that, like 24 right. hours, uh, 24 <laughs> hours party. <laughs> Even though Miami, I mean, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would like to see v Vuko and Sydney mi middle of the match, like arguing over a free kick, and just go maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> together at the same time. <laughs> uh, so, what was the pitch to come to Indy? Like, what was that? from people contacting you to say hey come over you know you're in ottawa you're in sacramento uh you know you said it was kind of like they were hey, here, here, here's right. a contract play for us come over make an impact uh so my ex my ex, ex coach in sacramento precario uh so his friend with with the head coach with team and they spoke each other and Preki recommended me to him, like, uh, and he just checked my uh, highlights, or I don't know, sure, yeah. or maybe he watched some games, and he said, "Okay, I like, I like him, and I want him, really, I want him." And he, him, and Peter Will just like uh, called straight and straight in Would club like in Atkinson? Sacramento, and they said, "Like, okay, we wanna, we wanna, we wanna look for for us, you know." Yeah. yeah. And it was like quickly. To be honest, so really quickly and well, uh, with the fan. So you're familiar with the Indy Eleven fans because you've ca you've came here and played and you knew what you were getting into. Yeah, was that a selling was point? For was you? that a selling or, point for you? Um, it was definitely one of the things that, yeah. that I looked at. Um, That's a good answer. <laughs> the answer is yes. The fans, absolutely. I well, want to know. I mean, it, it, it makes a huge difference yeah. when you play in a, in, a, in, a, in a good atmosphere versus yeah. playing in front of uh, two, three hundred people. Like we, when we played, again, we're bringing like Miami and uh, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Fort Lauderdale. They're, they're just an easy. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale. Oh, like Fort Lauderdale. Fifteen hundred like, people. Oh. You know, and it, it makes it makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, I came. I, I actually um, I played with them <laughs> in, in New York yeah. for one year. So. <laughs> Uh, we knew each other from back then, and then just you know, uh, after the season, you know, we got in contact. Uh, negotiations went well. I spoke to them, you know, directly with him and, and Peter. Um, uh, you know, got the contract situation and uh, details done, and then um, uh, once uh, coach was signed, and, and uh, I, I spoke to him briefly. Uh, yeah, because you were signed before the we even had a new coach. Head coach. Hank, yeah, yeah, and then. Uh, uh, he called me and we spoke a little bit about Falvey and he asked me what I, you know. Uh, like, well, he's drunk and he's Irish. So, I mean, he'll be good for <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I think yeah. he'll be good. Good defender. He's yeah, all right. Yeah. No, so, you know, um, that's pretty much all the contact I had with the uh, with coach before arriving. So, uh, <clears throat> and then I, I, mean, I was looking forward to it. I wanted to come, I wanted to come to the States for some time. I wanted to be closer to home. Um, I'm in the process of getting my citizenship done, okay. which I'm getting it done next Friday. Uh, Congratulations. So that's, that's yeah, Early. officially American. There, there you go. go. Uh, Dude, yeah, nice. So this 4th of July had, you know. Big ramifications. Uh, yeah. Now the next 4th of July is going to be It's going to be bigger. a big one. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be party at Cindy's house. <laughs> <laughs> a huge barbecue. Huge barbecue. Go. So all, he's going to paint yeah. his face, all American flag. <laughs> American flag tank tops <laughs> is a must. <laughs> Unless, um, unless you're Vuko, and they'll just be, he'll paint a tank top on <laughs> with no shirt and be like, oh, wait. It's going to be time, like half the grease and half. By that time, he'll have, a, he'll have a green card. He's going to yeah. have a green card as well yeah. pretty soon. So, yeah. 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 So, you, uh, your family loves it here then? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was like tough to move from Sacramento to Indianapolis because my wife, she was pregnant. Oh, yeah. And me watching like, if we really want to move there, you know, right now, because like I'm pregnant, like I, I how many months? How many how months? Months along was she? It's nine. It's oh, nine. Oh, so, so she was ready to pop. Yeah, so he's pregnant like every single day, like baby, you know, and oh, I mean, really, we have to go there or not? You know, it was like really, really tough to move sure. from. And we said, okay, I mean. Pro 
do something, the, try to change something, you know, especially because we we met there so many people, so many yeah, friends, you right, know, it's, right. it's, to be honest, I, I feel like, okay, this is our home, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it was nice, you know, and but I said like, okay, just let's, let's go, let's, <laughs> let's try, maybe, maybe, maybe can be better than, than in Sacramento, you know, maybe we, we can meet there some new friends, some better friends, you know, you never know, right. and she she really support me like all the time so thank thanks for that you know yeah. because you're lucky every dude. time yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah every time especially nine yeah. months pregnant she probably was yeah. completely sound of mind the entire time yeah to be <laughs> honest, not we, emotional at all yeah <laughs> to be honest really we made every time to get a decision yeah. to be on um, for my career for yeah. her so never mind together you know because i looking everything from my family you know to keep safe to you know I, if i come over here and if i can so the she's not happy you know maybe i maybe i, I can play the, the same you know I, <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe i I'll, i will not be happy in, in that moment so everything everything that is reflecting reflection in the in the in the pitch so yep. No, it makes a lot of sense is, now. Why you've been playing the way you've been playing? Is, is you have so that, much pressure. Is, if I don't play well, no, my no, wife no, is no. going to. <laughs> it's opposite. So she's so happy, you know, oh, and so she, she pushed me. Yeah, and you can say that if you want. I'll stick with my opinion, which is <laughs> you got the pressure. You better play well, sir. You yeah. made her move from Sacramento. So, <laughs> so that, that, that's 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 the key. So yeah. that's the yeah. key. If your family happy, you know, and you're definitely you're happy and and I joined the play soccer. Yeah. This is my first love. Okay, first love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were playing soccer before you met her, so it's okay. Yeah. So you know, that's that's is really really important. You you know, I mean, you have kids, so you know how 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 it, how is that it's really very important for for me for everybody to to your family be happy. So yeah. What's What's that's, your? That's, this is key for my good, good soccer. What's been your? <laughs> what's been your impression of the fans so far since being here? I mean, did you expect? Like, did they tell you before you came over? Hey, we've got a bit of a rabid fan base, or were you surprised that first game to feel that kind of energy from an NASL club? Uh, you know, in Sacramento, we had like really great, great fans. Yeah. There is every single game like. Uh, 11 12 thousand people full wow so every every single game is sold out especially for us here uh, 2014 we we played a couple couple games six or seven games on the um, uh, football uh, stadium college yeah. is 22 thousand people every single game actually first seven games 20 thousand people so it was really really amazing so to be honest, I didn't expect to be the same here, but I checked a little bit on the on the right yeah. on the internet and everything on the Google, and I saw that the Indy also has like great great uh, support from the from the fans, and it's something similar. Maybe maybe I, I feel maybe I expect a little bit more on on the people from on the side. So not want, just uh, not just fans, yeah, not gotcha. just fans behind the goal. <laughs> yeah. There is amazing. That's sure. that's that's for sure. But I speak a little bit more people on the on the side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. You want you want more support from the uh, somebody that's not in the brickyard battalion. Yeah, you of want course. That, I mean, okay. I I know maybe sometimes it's really cold in in the Indianapolis, or, or sometimes is <laughs> is really hot, but. Still, like I feel that we really deserve to, like, example next next Saturday against Minnesota, the field is really be like sold out and be full. Yeah. So that's be really amazing to step in 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 the pitch and just turn around and when you see like full field, you know. It, yeah. That sure. that's give you a little bit more, you know. Yeah. yeah. You, you anyway, you will give like one hundred percent to win the, that game but when you have something behind you to push it to push it like 90 minutes it's be awesome uh question for Cine 
from uh, the internet from <laughs> from Michael. He wants to know uh, what did you think of the of the Brickyard Battalion when you were playing in Ottawa? Did you like what was your thought of the fan base when you came here uh, before you were a member of Indy? Yeah, Lighting? I thought it was great. Um, or you didn't hate them because I could tell you every being, opposing goalkeeper, every, <laughs> every opposing goalkeeper hates, hates him, especially Akira <laughs> from Carolina. That guy gets it worse than anybody. First <laughs> off, he's got a name like a porn star. And so, they, they, trust me, they found out everything. They went online and found out everything oh, yeah. about that guy. Oh, yeah. And they yell out things about oh. just random things about his life. And I'm just sitting there going, ah, uh, so yeah. Good, so. good thing for me, I wasn't the goalie. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't, I didn't you know, uh, he's like, I mean, on the field, Thank like you. you don't really, uh, you know, it's hard to you pay attention it, yeah. to everything they say. You 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 literally don't even hear. It. It's like you're playing things. a game or something. Like you're really focused. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you yeah. focus. It's on white somewhere noise somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's out? <laughs> what, what's for dinner or something <laughs> right. like that? Um, right. Oh, but they were great. You could tell that you know the stadium was I think sold out every time awesome. we played here. And then yep. I always said that the one thing that stuck out in my head is that uh, when there was a weather delay for like two hours, and you know we came out of the play and. A lot of the people stayed and, and yeah. supported. Like, I mean, especially, we may have been drunk, especially the Brickyard we Battalion. Yeah. Um, they yeah, stayed because yeah. other people, like Nemanja said, like on the side, yeah. like, people with families we and kids. To, we went down to the downtown Chatham and had a few shots, and then came, came back. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You, know, you don't expect people with kids to stay two right. hours in a night game and yeah. wait for the game to start. Sure, so it's sure. normal that people went home. But you know, still what, here. Uh, yeah. What's been the favorite place to play? Wow, that's like this person wrote an Andy question. It's like four questions in one. Okay, we'll go through. All it. right, where's the favorite place to play? Most what, memorable what, moment that let's you start with this favorite Jeez. place to play ever. Favorite place like, to play. Okay, ever. so where's your favorite place to play ever? What's your favorite stadium you played in that you love to play in? We already know Greece. I mean, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like. Uh, because atmosphere or like no. uh, like I mean just when you went in it, it, it stuck with you it resonated it stuck with you you got done you're like this was an amazing place whether it was your stadium or somebody else's you just like this was incredible like when we talked to to Eamon, the one thing was when he was playing in 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 Afghanistan he was like uh, all right you're on you're on you're on you're on you're on that's same, same thing right, right. <laughs> Well, you know, right next to each other so yeah, yeah no oh, so you're on right. 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 in Tehran no. no. right in Tehran <laughs> When he was playing with 80,000 people, he's yeah. like, that stuck with me. He goes, it, yeah, was, yeah, just, yeah. it was insane to see so, that. Right. Yeah, exactly. Example, like uh, one of my game for a uh, qualification for a uh, uh, Europe League with uh, my hometown uh, team, FC Budućnost, against uh, Hajduk Split in uh, Split uh, Croatia. It was like uh, 40,000 people and everybody. I'll, I swear, everybody just stand jumping yep. and singing. That that is like is the best atmosphere in my life for one game. Especially because this was like uh, many many problems uh, when yeah. when we play against Croatian teams, you know, yeah. because everything because warm and everything, yeah. right? So it was like really, especially like. When we played first game at home, when days coming in our town, is was like fighting with our yeah. fans and everything, and they they per, like when we come. <laughs> this is was the really really the best thing in my life. I mean, coming in split in Croatia, yeah. so <laughs> how many police yeah. protect us like around the bus? Like <laughs> yeah. you can you can imagine like. Do you have four bottles, five, bottles and stuff being thrown at your bus? Four, five, four, yeah. four or five cars in front of us, wow. four or five cars on the both side behind us. So everything wow. everything is was stopped for like 15 minutes from airport to, to the hotel. It was like really – like that moment you really like – Felt like felt a superstar. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> like, like that. You know, okay, this is really nice. You know? And when we, when we go in the, in the warm-up before the game – they just like put like uh, um, how do these trans? Oh, fireworks! Fire oh, fire 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 yeah, the flares. Oh, okay, flares. Yeah. flares. Just drew the page. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean oh that is that is really amazing. Yeah, that's that's probably like the.
best best feeling in my life. I had enough time to think about mine. Good. Okay, there you go. Sorry, see me. I can answer that. What question was? You were just gonna go to the restroom and you come back, get another. That's why you put put it down earlier and was stretching out. You're like, oh, it's gonna take a second. More than that, I have two nights. Okay. That's fine. That I mean. Yeah, there's probably just more, seconds. but just, just, just seconds. two is okay. I, think. Yeah, I said just yeah. one. Just one. I want to. I want to say two also. And <laughs> <laughs> but he has to give it back. Just a second. We're gonna hey, did, did you want to go grab a drink? <laughs> no, <real> listen. <laughs> hey, give us a background story to this one. I'm gonna lose it. it. <laughs> look, the best atmosphere. Just the tell best. Us one more. Look, that's it. The best atmosphere in Portland. Uh, Portland. Portland. Okay. Portland. Okay. That's yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> do you have more? Or no. Uh, so he's like, now my third okay, one. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to say that uh, Giant Stadium, when we hosted uh, uh, Barcelona, and it was like 80,000 yeah. plus. So that's yeah. going to be forever in my mind, especially because we played against them. And Yeah. What was the score? Is they could have yeah. easily. What was the score? Uh, we won 2 1. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we lost six two. Yeah. Uh, but I think it, they took it easy, and uh, <laughs> they took it easy on us on six like two. Twenty five percent. Oh, the thirty five. What year was this again? Oh, what was this again? That was two thousand thirteen, maybe. Two thousand yeah. no. Ten. Ten. Nine. Two thousand ten. Yeah. Some of that. We lost okay. six two. Yeah, but we. We competed well, as some people Henri would say. Henri was still there, no. wasn't he? Was that when? Was no, that no, no, it was before Henri. Bro, oh. they might have played Barcelona again when no, I no. left, but Wait, Henri no. was not there. Uh, for for New York? No. When did he come on? Because swore it was. Are you seriously? I'm getting there. Okay. Yeah, find yeah. that out. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like, like when? Because uh, Thierry Henry. <laughs> Thierry Henry. <laughs> Thierry Henry. 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 Uh, 2000. He came in 2010. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe then we played in 2009. Okay. 2008. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. So, uh, so yeah. Then, and then uh, opening up at the uh, uh, Red Bull Arena against Old Al playing against Santos and, uh, and, uh, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and a baby Neymar. Um, yeah. Baby Neymar. I hate uh, that guy. It was nice because me too. My family was, me too. My family was in town for that game. Guy. So, that was really nice for them to see a uh, sold out crowd. Yeah. And, you know, they were. Red Bull were versus Barcelona was in 2008. Yeah, there you go. 2008. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> they, they, they I'm here for you, buddy. They, they showed us a thing or two. <laughs> they, yeah. they, they, weren't, they weren't a bad team. They were okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, like, my oh, my God. God. Um, our, real quick question. Um, so what is our schedule looking like on, uh, like, the, through the rest of July? Have you guys, do you guys you, have you any off time here? What's that? You want us back here again? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, what I'm just saying. Have you have you had any chance um, to think about going to any one of the international cup games every year that we do this during the summer? So, like, I'm going over to Columbus the 27th, which is Real Madrid and PSG. I, uh, you mentioned something. Yeah. The manager mentioned that he wanted. He had tickets or something. Yeah, like yeah, I have, I have tickets. So. But he can't go, so he's giving them away. Wait, to to that game, to the Real Madrid game. Yeah. Uh, what? What, are we playing tickets. here? Are I we had playing? two tickets, so I don't know. But it's like midweek. Why know. can't you go? It's twenty. It's, uh, the twenty seventh. It's a Wednesday, right? Why can't you go? We don't have a midweek game, so why are you giving them away? Uh, I'm, no, jo no, I'm joking. Oh, joking. Oh, yeah. joking. Oh, I'm like, joking. Wait, Come on, you like, Why would you do that? It's going to be an eBay before that. <laughs> Come on. Why? Why are you doing this? No, no, no. Okay. Um. Do we have anything? So, do you have tickets or no? Yeah, two tickets. You are going. Uh, definitely, probably. Dude, I'll definitely there. problem. There's a game. There's a game in an Ar an Arbor that I. Yes, it was Chelsea and the uh, Chelsea and Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I just I can't Chelsea. I just can't yeah, go to Ann Arbor. It's Michigan. I cannot go there. He's an Ohio guy. Ohio State. I'm an Ohio State guy. Oh, you are? Yeah, huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, Where are you from in Ohio? Uh, my dad's entire family is from Toledo, Ohio. Okay. So grew up as Ohio State fan. That is so. one thing that I never understood. The people in in, in the entire state of Ohio love Ohio State. It, it More depends. than anything else in their lives, I feel like. Yes. Well, well now it's the Cavaliers as well. Well, Cavs is only Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland, Akron, <laughs> right? Any yeah, of the right. Yeah, yeah. But no, the uh, no, it is. It's a big thing because uh, although Toledo is a battleground, so it's split because you're right on the border. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you yeah. have some people that are. You have a few Michigan State people, but really, it's it, on on that day when it's Michigan, Ohio State every November. 
that whole town becomes almost a war zone where it's like you walk through what? like malls and you see people in Michigan and you just stare at them <laughs> and you go, I hate you. <laughs> Did you go to Ohio State? No, no, I went to Ball State. That, that, that's one thing that I never yeah. understood because the people even in Cleveland, like yeah. people in, in Cleveland, yeah, I feel like they like Ohio State more than Cleveland uh, Cleveland Browns. Uh, I'd, I'd probably be, yeah. you know, it's, it's I'd probably be okay call, with that. Trust me, like it's it's crazy. Well, this new version of Cleveland, right? Before they were moved, no, that that Cle the Browns were everything to Cleveland. Oh, they're moving Browns point. again, I think. No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> no, dude, do you realize? That, do you, oh my god, that whole town would go. Yeah. LeBron would well, have they, to get, LeBron win, would have if to they win a Super Bowl this yeah. year. I think I think the the Do you know what the Vegas Cleveland's odds population are right now? the yeah. Cleveland's population is going to grow for about a million. <laughs> Absolutely. The Vegas will. odds for the Browns this year is they're the highest uh the highest odds to go 0 and 16 this year. Yeah, their team's not very yeah, good. Yeah, no. it's bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on that. Huh? Nobody's going to go in 0 and 16. No, They'll win really, one. Right. <laughs> No, right, no, one, one in fifteen, one. they'll get they'll get number one pick. That's really what matters. Do you guys have any other sports you follow? I mean, I, I, other than soccer? tennis, tennis. So you've been watching Wimbledon, yeah? Who are you rooting for? Uh, He's not watching it. Yeah, because Djokovic, 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 Djokovic is out. Don't I know, ask. I know. I don't watched ask. the match. Okay. First off, Joke that was tough because after the first delay and he came back, I thought he he was good. His form was amazing, and then that second delay happened. And it was just different, and it was like it came back, and it, I think that second delay messed with him a on, bit. On the second day, yeah, 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 yeah. second then, delay, yeah. right? On the second, on the second right. day, right? Yes, yeah. I'm gonna blame and, the ref. And <laughs> yeah, also, yeah. No, I mean, I blame the. Uh, no, there rules, were two like, points. There were two uh, points, yeah, in the, in and the, the rules, fifth set. like, it's just like you, you, you have like three challenge to call three challenge on the all sets. I mean, that is yep. really stupid because if if he has. Like challenge, he will call like uh, on a, his serve twice, and he will he will won that. He would have won the set. The, uh, he won that set. Of going, yeah. going, instead of going four oh and forty, or it was yeah, it four, was uh, the other guy four, went four and thirty. Uh, five like four. It was five four, and it was uh, yeah. forty fifteen. I think so. I don't know. And guys, just that. like twice on the road, like put ball on the on the out and. He can't challenge, but he was out. He can't. I'm always interested. Okay, tell me when you're watching this and they go challenge, and then they show that graphic, right? And it shows the ball. I'm like, really? Like, where where are they finding that from? Because it shows the graphic and shows the ball real slow, and it's like, yeah, and you're like, <laughs> really? Going back to what Nemanja yeah. said about the ref and, and, the, and the only three challenges. I mean, if the ref is making 100, 100 mistakes, yeah, then I'm sorry, I'm going to challenge it 100 times. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I challenge you three times, and, and if I it's win, nothing. I don't you get any. Be, I should be right. rewarded. And NFL have, does that where you you challenge twice, yeah, you win, you get an extra exactly. one. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So we, we we talk uh, key point. We talk about key watch, points in the match. Watch that that game. Like, is three challenges really nothing? Okay, if if you call for challenge and you're right, okay, give me that challenge back, and that's. That's okay. I think, I think you need you to know, take it up with but the. If you, if you, if you, we, we call them. We call Did you? Them. Look, <laughs> he if got you missed, yeah. I, I tried to call. I tried to call. I tried to call. I tried to call, but nothing. <laughs> Nobody answered. Yeah. <laughs> you tried to pose as <laughs> like Djokovic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, listen, that Voku guy's calling again. Just, uh, just, yeah. just put in the voicemail. Right. Okay. So, so tennis. So you've been watching that. I mean, I watch actually all the sports. I love to watch all the sports. Not to watch like every time in the, right. in the right. TV, right? But to follow like yeah, especially especially when my country playing or some my friend playing, you know. So yeah, uh, but more most tennis because because I I played I, I played tennis, so that's oh, my kind. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. my side sport. So you still yeah. play? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Every time after the season, just tennis. B Every basketball. Let's go to a court and play after the season's over. I'll play you. I'll get so, my ass kicked. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> mine, mine is basketball. Uh, basketball okay. is probably would be the second if I if so I. So you're I not a Cavs fan. Um, I like him. Okay, uh, you have to like him. I'm not a. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, Who's I'm your team then? Fan. Um, For I love last baseball. few years, uh, it was okay. It's been OKC. Okay, uh, I'm not attached to anybody. Well, apparently not because either is Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> 
JC going down. Oh, topical. And I, you know, topical. There was a time when I loved Sacramento when a lot of Divas and Peja stay out. Yeah. yeah. They were phenomenal Peja, to watch. Man. Peja, yeah. Yeah. So Chris Webber and Jason Williams. And, yeah. 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 All of us supported this them. This time it was like when we woke up like uh, 3 a.m. 3 in the morning and just to watch like game, you know, because that, yeah. that, that, that time it was, was like time. really oh, big, Peja. big. Yeah. Uh, and as Nemanja said, I'll, I'll catch a I'll catch a sporting event regardless of of what it is. If you know, if it's something catchy now, I'll, I'll watch. Did you guys it. Uh, watch any of the fights with uh, when Eamon had the the Conor McGregor uh, MMA fight on? Did you guys uh, watch any MMA? No, I, the only the only guy that I kind of follow in in UFC is the guy from Cleveland, the one the UFC. Oh yeah, Stipe Miocic. Stipe Miocic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's actually in the, somewhat of a neighbor. Um, oh well, he's then. from the next next town well, o- next oh, okay. town over. So. Um, my my family knows his family. Um, it's the baddest man in the world so, right so now. So yeah, yeah, I mean, and, uh, I'd, well, I'd, I mean, I'd watch that. I'm not gonna sit and watch. Uh, He's getting ready to fight in Cleveland against Alistair Over. It's gonna be a huge. And it's gonna be, gonna be a yeah. ridiculous fight. Yeah. So, but yeah. I, but I'll be honest. Speaking about fights, I'm I'm more of a boxing sure fan. But the, but the problem with the boxing these days is that. Um, UFC and all these other, all these other uh, MMA and you know all these little things are yeah, stealing yeah. away the fighters, and I feel like the boxing boxing has gone down a little bit in, pop, in popularity. Yeah. Yeah, there's just not enough guys doing it. Not <laughs> enough guys. Ha- Heavyweights no, no, no. fight. You can't. Okay. See, you, you, we've been seeing the same same guys so, okay, going. So for, and there's, not, like there's not enough parity. Well, wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Uh, Strap in, folks. Here's the point. No, no, no. <laughs> to your point. You're correct on the fact of, of boxers that we we grew up in an age and being very similar in age. We're a little bit older than you guys, but grew up in an age where like heavyweight boxing was everything. And then, uh oh, got to get this. It's not like this is There's, going on Twitter or anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we grew up. This with, is more with, my wife, by the way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm I'm really here. I'm not in Greece. Oh, <laughs> uh, real quick, just since yeah. you mentioned that, what was your wife pretty pissed about about this? Mm. No. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah, it's good. Okay. It's good. It's good. I mean, now I'm I like how you like got much, su- you know, I'm looking like macho boy. <laughs> you know? He got like my, that was the best part. He's he got super American there. He's like, nah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's all yeah, good. Everything's good. Nah. Nah. So we grew up with, like- with looking at heavyweight boxers, like the big championship fights, middleweight, uh, and, and and even lightweight wise. Yeah. Now there are a lot of there are a lot of really good young boxers. The problem is, is that boxing is has lost the luster. Of of having the big names, if you will, but a lot of it it's it's not because of UFC per se, as it is boxing management in the way that these that these purses have in having twenty seven different belts. There's twenty seven titles between your WBA, WBO, w, like it's it's absurd. Like people don't know what title What's actually matters. On, you can go in, win two fights, and get a title shot, and go, I've got a belt. Well, I have thirteen belts. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, which one do I win if I beat you? Uh, you just get this one. Well, what about the other twelve? I beat you. No, no, those don't count. Like it's boxing's too convoluted now. Yeah, and maybe, maybe it's because um, uh, attracting fans is, yeah. is is a way. Like you need to say, like, oh, it's for something. It's yeah. for the title. It's yeah. for the belt. Maybe if you tell them, oh, it's just uh, n- number thirteen, number fourteen, right. ran guy going at it. Yeah. They might be absolutely amazing boxers, right. just because they haven't made it to the top yet. Yeah. Nobody's gonna pay attention too much right. unless you put that. Oh, they're fighting for WB. Right. I don't even know, right. like what? Right. Just WBC, WBA. Yep. You know, WBA, BA, BCD. That's like Triple G. You, uh, have, to put, you have to put something. You Lovaca, know, uh, man, go That dude right now. That I will still watch every fight. The Triple G fights. Triple, have you have you watched any Triple G fights? Golovakin. He's he's literally undefeated, middleweight unbelievable boxer and like literally he's the one drawing in boxers at this point like he is look him up look up triple g okay I he's one it. of those guys that's that. like harkens back where he he's he hits like a, a fucking tank but but Have he's got good defense that kind of language in the, in the yeah. radio yeah but, uh, it's for 18 oh, plus audience oh you should have told me that a long time dude, no, yeah no, i know oh, oh, he goes like yeah oh, you mean i could say fuck it anytime i, I want yeah what this I mean, is crazy just right to be Nice. You know? <laughs> Does it look I, oh like this God. actually show is run any sort of uh, like yeah. a radio so, show? <laughs> right. Yeah. No, that was us on Soccer Saturday. Yeah. That's funny. That was That's our it. first time actually talking to you, and he was on Soccer Saturday at the beginning of the season. And so yeah, we had to fill in for Greg. I was down in the uh, uh, Tampa Bay. No, no that was, was before OKC. Classic. No. no. What was it? I think it was. I think it was the Tampa Bay. 
Was it Tampa Bay? I think it was a Tampa Bay game. The first he, game of the season. He doesn't remember. Like Sorry. you just get a random call, like, "Hey, you're going to be on a radio I, show." I thought, Sounds I, I thought good. we also spoke once when when we were in Phoenix in Casa Grande. Nope, that wasn't. Oh, us. no. Oh, it might, no, yes, that it was. It. That yep. was it. Yes, over that the phone. It. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm right. I'm right. Exactly. Sydney's new uh, uh, nickname in the BYB is going to be Mister. Cheers. Right. Oh, yeah. Mr. Right. Cheers. I mean, I mean, I got I'll water. Take... It's okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, cheers to you. I'll do cheers. I'll do yeah, it's bad luck if you cheer with water. Oh, well, then never mind. I'm not going to drink then. Hey, no. well, that's your problem. Yeah. I mean, I guess you should. I'm going gonna, gonna to drink vodka, vodka later when I get home. Oh, okay. Mm. I got vodka here, yeah. too, I'm instead of bar. No. Yeah. <laughs> we got that. training tomorrow. Right. <laughs> um, didn't stop Marco. <laughs> didn't stop Marco. Marco. Did, Marco did a shot with us. Yeah. So, all right. I want to talk about something. So, oh, wait, we, talk we, about, yeah, we, have, we have one more uh, question? soccer question, and okay. then you can get to what I know what you're going to get into. Okay. So, soccer based question. Uh, Someone's interested to know what your opinions are on Iceland in the Euros. Um, and this is about kind of like how they've captured a lot of casual fans. Uh, same thing with like when Leicester City won the Premier League. What do you guys feel is most important? Money, the money that can be spent on a team, or can passion and togetherness of a team transcend everything else? really existential and really deep. It's core it's a Cormac question. Well, it's a Cormac uh, question. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Good. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant uh, what Iceland has done in the Euros. Um, and uh, that video them they, home they, too they've was done crazy. it. Yes, they've done it. They've done it with with passion. Yep. They've done it with with a lot of heart, yep. with a lot of hard work. Um, but I also think. Looking back, the way they played, I think they also showed uh, a good quality as well. And it wasn't, and it wasn't so much. Um, it, it's lucky. Only, only if you look at it from the point, yeah, it's the first, you know, first appearance in the Euros. It's, it's a very small country. But if you analyze their game, um, they deserve to win, uh, or, or they deserve to get results in every they game they played. Uh, whatever they got. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, they were both. They were both. Uh, the, that Leicester City thing too is that they never changed the lineup. They played like the same eleven almost yeah. every single game. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, no, it's, it's all games. No, the I, same, I, I, the same I, eleven guys. Is no, I pitch. think uh, the passion and togetherness uh, should come out more in, in when you play for your national team. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, only because you know the reality is a lot of the soccer players need to need to uh, take care of their family. Um, they need to make. Need to make as much money as possible while they yeah. while they can because it doesn't last <laughs> right. forever. Right, right. So sometimes uh, people would go f for money over uh, you know over over anything else yeah. in order to achieve to achieve that because right. I mean if, if players don't take care of themselves, trust me, from going from a player, uh, nobody else would. So yeah. So yes, by. Uh, I mean, if you talk about the top level soccer, uh, the guys who, sp it, it's not necessarily, and Leicester happens once every 60 years. Right. It doesn't happen often. Right. But it can happen. Yeah. Uh, but they, uh, but also they've shown a lot of quality and they've shown they know how to play. It wasn't just like, oh, these guys are, um, uh, don't make a lot of money. They're not good players and I don't know how they won. Well, I mean, they're making money because, um, they know what they're doing. I mean, the, what they're doing, maybe they're not making a lot of money now because yeah. they, they haven't. The best quality hasn't come out yet. Right. And They'll get paid now, eventually. And if, right. now, if, now everybody wants a right. lot of the guys, and I don't know how many guys will go, but they're all going to go for money. Well, yeah. Vardy already said he's going to stay for a couple more years, so he's he's staying put. Yeah. I mean, if I was him, I probably would have done the same thing because he's a legend there now. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah he yeah. is. You know, it's nobody uh, actually is nobody respect that 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 national team. You know, everybody is thought like, okay, it's Iceland, first time, first time in the Euro. You know. So it's be like, uh, okay, just like practice, like one training, you know, easy. We, we just, I mean, especially like uh, England. Yeah. They, I'm 100%, I'm sure, and they they know how they play in the in the group stage and they yep. show like great, great Yeah, the football. first game they came out against Portugal, they... Look, I, Portugal, uh, also the same thing, like, okay, we need just to step in the... In the in the field, and we should win. Yeah, right? yeah. I know. We're it's Iceland. It's Iceland. I'm a Portugal fan. You know, and I hate it. I hate that they play that. And, way, you right? know, and 
Yeah. Everybody, nobody respect, but they, there's, there's not a group of the players like, uh, like you can, you can, you can see in the, in the online, somewhere on the internet, everybody talking about them, like, uh, uh he's bar bartender, he's working yeah. over there. He, their head coach is a part-time part dentist. Yeah, yeah. he's <laughs> fishers, right. he's, I mean, yeah. this is like uh, really stupid. I mean, yeah. they, they maybe do that like, uh, long time ago you know but They're they players. definitely like yeah. Uh, yeah. 10 years uh, last 10 years is professional soccer players you know right and they actually show like better better soccer than than some yeah. biggest national teams so right. i think it was like really like like you said passions and it was like uh, they stay all together you know and don't flip backwards especially especially with fans Don't nobody he's steps. good he's nobody, good he's okay. good nobody expect <laughs> I don't no, want to no, be nobody expect that. from them to do something you know in, the, in yeah. europe and after the first game everything is changed you know maybe everybody start to looking with different eyes on, on them you know okay it's you know it's i don't know it's it's some some nice it's really nice about them i don't know i, I like See, I like him. I was so set up against when when they play against uh, French and just like I, yeah, I'm not. I, what I am, you're not, not that sad. No, I, no, listen, I, was I like have an unpopular opinion here. Here's the deal: everybody has this, it, it, and I really view it. I know it's a whole world thing where everybody wants to view the underdog. But especially here in American culture, for sports culture, has such a huge thing on oh the Cinderella story, oh the the underdog. I don't care about that. Here's the deal. If it's a Cinderella story where, and you made the perfect point, they played incredible ball and they won. They played good. It's great. They played good. But I it's, mean, they played okay, but the other team that should win just played like just junk. It's the worst game they ever. Then to me, I'm like, I, it, I don't care. I'm like nine times out of ten, this team gets absolutely stomped. They got them on that one time. That's what happens like in the March in March Madness. Is it, it sometimes you get those guys and they play and these teams that shouldn't even be in the tournament, but they happen to come up against the guys on their worst day. So if it's just that the the better team just played kind of like junk and it wasn't anything that they did, okay. But Iceland actually played really good football and that was a difference, I think. So every, okay, every single team against French, especially after first goal and yep. second goal. Yep. They will start to play defense, you know, no, and no. just like stay on the block I, and try to win. And just yeah. try to, you know, keep it okay, two zero. Okay. There is French, we are Iceland, you know, okay, that's it. We are we are good. We're yeah. good enough for yeah. now. But no, they start they do the same thing like from the first minutes. Try to play, try to play, and they score twice, that's right? True. So five two or two oh is still yeah, lost. I mean, so why not go out you and know, just have okay, some fun? Exactly. Right. They they didn't they pushed. They didn't yeah. scare it, you know. They weren't scared. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's be like ten goals. So or you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, let's let's just enjoy. You know, this is this yeah. our times to show something to show everyone that we we play good. We are not just yeah. like I said, like bartender or I don't know, yeah. dentist or whatever. Maybe. You know, yeah, yeah. So who's your who's your favorite to win now? So I gotta say, people really love you know this German team, and obviously there's the whole oh it's Wales against Portugal and it's Bale and Ronaldo, but. Honestly, the French team is scary to me. If you look at the talent I mean, that they have on that team, yeah, definitely. And also, they they play home, right? Yeah. So right, it's a little probably probably once maybe in next game against Germany is be like a little bit a referee on the. But you never know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right? it's back to the referees. It's always the referees. Yeah. I mean, right. typical professional players. It's just it's just maybe that is right. small small things, you know. Yeah. One one free kick on the bad area for germany yeah you know yeah so so who wins you, you never who wins euros uh it's it, to be honest it's a tough question but i would like to see in the final uh germany and Porto. okay and then who wins that and <laughs> i would like to see portugal to oh, because no. it's cr7 you CR7. know seven all right and yep. just to well, for, you know okay to so, kill er, right. everybody like uh Sinisha and um, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Messi, Messi, yeah, no, yeah. that's what I was Messi. Say. Messi, Messi, right? Choked keep, out in Argentina yeah. again, right? Go out, you can win anything. <laughs> so you know, I, I just I can't I, I can't wait to 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 see like Cristiano Ronaldo like captain, you know, and 
win like Euro, and that'd be amazing. I mean, look, they'll beat Wales only because Wales is missing two incredible players that makes that team. And, and Ramsey being out number one is number one on every strategic category on that team in Euros. He's no, he's first on their team. Who? Ramsey. Ramsey. Uh -huh, okay. Ramsey is, and he's gone, and that's huge. And that was such a terrible way of going out. So, anyways. So you have obviously I'm some things you need to say yeah, about I, this. Go ahead. I, I, can't, I can't wait to say that. <laughs> he's, a, he's a sitting back. I think, it, I, think, I think it would be good if Portugal could have managed to win to win the Euros. Uh, only because they've, they've never done it before and they've been so close for so many years. Yep. But I think it would be also embarrassing if... Uh, oh. if they, I, can't, I, I did not finish I this. I did not thing. finish this. <laughs> this <laughs> I did not finish <laughs> this. <laughs> I don't want to listen. I think it would be embarrassing if, if no. they win. And, <laughs> and for tournament. example, in, in generation uh, before them right. could the not gold, manage the it gold because, yes. Figo and right. because and those guys were actually Deco. actually um, they didn't want. Figo's my favorite player it, ever. Right? They deserved so. as much more. I feel like uh, as players and as a team than than these guys do. And I don't think Portugal is going to win this one anyways. No. Um, <laughs> but I liked you know now going back to Ramsey. I think Ramsey is going to play a huge part in the, in Portuguese chances to to, to be well. If he was playing. I think Wales would have, I mean, yeah. obviously the chances increase, and I would love to see uh, Wales. Uh, Just because they'll never make a World Cup. Honestly. I'd like to see I'd Wales, to France. See Wales, France. Right. I think it would be a, I think it, like it would be an story. open game, and it would be like uh, uh, an all-out attack, uh, an attacking game for both of them. Yeah. So I'd like to see that, you know, as, as, a, as a fan, because um, okay. I'm not a fan of either of those countries. And me too, so, so it doesn't matter. So who yeah. really wins? So so you you'd love to see, but who I, wins? I mean France. I'd love to see France win. Germany is winning definitely, but. I would like to. I wouldn't okay. be mad if Germany wins either, but I mean, <laughs> they still they just still. Play. Well, I, mean, I guess they, you gotta pick somebody. I mean, <laughs> no, but really, they. To be honest, they play. They just give up one goal on the whole tournament, yeah. and from oh, Piquet, great. from Piquet. So well, they're, they're machines. They play, That's what they do. They, they, they play like team. amazing. The man they, went, right. I mean, well, okay. Over under on how many times Yogi Love smells himself, whether it be his pits, <laughs> his cry. <laughs> that dude has been caught on camera four times now. Yeah. Just. I mean, Digging around. I do not want to. So, oh, I do not want to know what's next. <laughs> I do. Yeah, yeah where else is the scariest thing? In the front. Now it's going like, to the back. Yeah, he's out of yeah. control. I'm like, he goes just maybe around in a circle. <laughs> Circle. You never know. He's just standing on the count of the camera. It's just him going like this. <laughs> yeah. And then he's uh, he, now the next thing he's going to do is he's offering assistant coaches and say, "Listen, you know, yeah. you know, is this fresh? <laughs> is this good? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I smell yours? Is it okay? All right. Is this just Come me, on, guys? Okay. Go ahead, buddy. Oh my god. All right. So here we go. Disgusting. So here we go. So all right. So, uh, so social media wise, you're on social media. You're here. So I have to ask. So why don't you have a Twitter until two weeks ago when I created one for you? <laughs> Really? Yeah, that's me. You don't know that you have a Twitter account called Shirtless Vuko? The, the, the entire team follows you. <laughs> the Indy you 11 follows this? you. Actually, I, uh, I saw that, but I didn't know who created it. Yes, it was me. Uh, I created no. it. Oh, me and Franco. Me and no. Franco created it together right here. So here, let me bring you up. Shirtless Vuko. We found an amazing a photo. for me? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I would, so, no, why, so why have you not had a Twitter? I mean, I don't know. I, Just because. You yeah, I mean, you can't I, keep up with all I, social no, media. I, no, I have like a, you're heavy on Facebook, I have Facebook like, and uh, Instagram, you know, and that's enough. I mean, he's got Facebook, I, Instagram, I know, two kids. Uh, yeah, he's got wait, wait, wait till you, know? you see the picture that he chose of you from uh, so, <laughs> so, so his profile photo from good Facebook. One. Oh, dude, I oh was that God. Greece? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, and so, Come here, on. so here's this your is, here's your description. Like, uh, so. At, 2000 <laughs> was it Greece? Ten, no. 2010. Okay. 2010 yeah. right. or nine. Greece. Greece. Yes. Exactly. We went ago. through. We went through your Facebook page. Here we go. And looked at all your pictures, and we're like, "What's the best shirtless one that he has on well, his so, Facebook?" So, so this is next, this is your profile is description. Is next? Here's your profile description. I play the soccer. I always win team, team of the week honors, and I hate shirts. Make sure to come <laughs> hug me, and I make sure it's a parody account. And the reason why I came up with shirtless Vuko is so I was editing the video of the spring finale. And there was a period, so every, all the players were out, right? You guys are all surrounded. It was an incredible yeah. event. And then everybody Brad's else went and did slamming a beer, <laughs> Brad's slamming it. beers and chucking them. This was, was amazing. Eventually, <laughs> everybody left. All the players left, and it was just kind of us rolling around. But s there's Vuko still wandering around the field, talking <laughs> to people, going in and out of suites. <laughs> like, yeah, I was there with my wife and kids. <laughs> oh, okay. But he's just, he hasn't had a shirt on for yeah, an hour and a half. <laughs> he's just, yeah, because Sam Fence is, is, is take off. 
Sure, right, he thanks gave for it me. To me. You know? Sure, you know? but it was just funny because he's the only player out of the entire team that's still wandering around the field, and we're like, he was looking for somebody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's trying to protect him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I'm just saying is I can give up this account. Look, how, trust how, me. How, you, you how know, how that? I don't know how they use Twitter. You have. Uh, I mean, uh, let's not go through that. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to be the Twitter teacher. One on one. Yeah, look at. So I'll now, tell him. Yeah, Sid, yeah, Sidney's like, like. Okay, I'm gonna, he's gonna have to come to me. I'll Google. And I don't want to Google this. So, <laughs> first thing, what I do right after that is I will change picture. So okay, that's fine. <laughs> but here, but but here, you even have Cristiano Ronaldo's on your team. So my good friend CR7 is leading the crusade against shirts, shirtless strong. How, and how here's, many followers? Here, here's uh, Cristiano I mean, Ronaldo. <laughs> I support Vuko with no shirt. Uh, like, you have 31 people you have 31 following followers you. Right now. <laughs> it just started. Half, the, the best num part is the numbers are getting bigger. The yeah. best part is is that half, half of the show, them, half of them are more. half of them are your teammates. Yes, your they teammates love it. follow they the Twitter. Love it and right. will retweet and favorite and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, dude, you've said some really funny things. You don't even realize <laughs> yeah. you are. He's a funny guy. He I'm is a king. funny. I'm, I'm king, king of Twitter. <laughs> It needs to be the new bio. <laughs> king of Twitter. King of, king of Twitter, but I don't know how to use it. Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh, okay. So, wow. all right. I can give you the logins if you want. You can do it. Or if you have something official you want to say, you can send a message to us, and we'll tweet out and say, actually from we'll Vuko. Be your, we'll be your Twitter, Twitter, right, Twitter exactly. handlers. I mean, we already manage multiple accounts anyways, yeah. and then the rest of it will just be fun stuff. So You can, give me, like, you can use the uh, username and everything, but we can there you go. use a boat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay. It's a good. It's a good part. Be my right. PR manager. Right. Oh, <laughs> there you go. PR manager. Yeah. Right. So for you, tell me about expectations for fall season. For yourself personally. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Yep. For yourself personally and for the for the team. Okay. This is the last. Yep. Right. All right. Yeah, um, well, you can go um, soon. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be dead honest. <laughs> I'm tired and I hate I hate this place. <laughs> I get it. No, no, no. Great. no. Um, Fiance is waiting for me for dinner at home. Oh, so, well, uh, somebody's I gonna grill, guys. Something. Somebody's gonna make the dinner. Um, no, but no. Last, uh, <laughs> Do you live yeah. up here in Fisher, though? No, You're no. Close? Um, Car we, live, we live close. Come, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We live close to each other. Uh, personally, um, oh, I'm gonna go from the teams first. You know, okay. I obviously want us uh, to do the best that we possibly can. Uh, right. If we can win, if we can manage to win the championship in the fall as well, that'd be amazing because that'd be the first team to achieve yep. that. Yep. Um, personally, um. I think I had some bad luck uh, with you know with certain injuries. I'm still you know I'm still battling one, and I'm gonna have to battle that you know for as long as I'm playing. Um, it's it's a certain thing that you know that can't be fixed at the moment, I guess, or probably okay. never. And then um, um, I want to you know push through it. I want to give my best because uh, I think I can. What is it? I, I can mean, do a lot more. Um, I don't it. know. Nobody has ever mentioned. Uh, okay. To me, I don't know if I don't even know if I'm allowed to speak. Well, about we, can, that we, big can, of a we can talk out off air if you want, uh, and off the record. I don't if want you, want you to. to. Yeah, I don't want you to get in trouble for. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So is it off the record or no? No. 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 Yet. After the show. After the show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, um, and I just want to you know push through. I want to I want to be the best that I possibly can. I I know I can. Uh, it, and it's not gonna, and it's not gonna stop me, and uh, I won't ever stop. Uh, and that's one thing that I'm kind of like, you know, down about myself because I had, high, I had high expectations for myself, yeah, uh, from the team and from an individual standpoint, right. and, 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 and it bothers me in so many ways. But it's, it's nothing I can do about it. So worst, I just gotta keep going. It's the worst part too, of wanting to do something and then your body just telling you no, you can't do it, no. and you're like, everything else is there where you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it until I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's it's the way to look at it. You know, the saddest thing positive. I've ever heard. <laughs> no, it's not I'm that really, bad. No, I, I just want to say for the guys uh, out there, whoever's listening, following, it's not it's not that terrible. It's just not like you know. Yeah. It's not the best thing ever either. It's <laughs> 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 the worst. Uh, it's so, a good positive spin on it. It's yeah. not the yeah, best. No, no, no. It's not the worst yeah, yeah, either. Uh, yeah. It's not something that's gonna make me uh, you know hang on my boots tomorrow. So. Right. Okay. It's a good thing. Good. Cool. Okay, that's what. Okay, the yeah. way you led into this, I was like. I'm like, are you making a retirement speech? <laughs> Is this your official retirement? No, no, not yet. Not, not okay. yet. Okay, good. Okay, okay. None of that. No. Right. Vuko, so personal. What you? What do you expect for the rest of the season? And then your uh, uh, 19 more player of the weeks, and at least what seven, eight more assists, four goals. Mm, yeah. To be honest, yeah, <laughs> I expect like, uh, like meaning like more five assists. To be honest, and a couple goals. And I said to to 
the like team to play a little bit better because I, I know that we can play much better than than right now and a little bit more winning winners games than tight games I would like I told Sinisha like a couple of days ago like I feel like like we can like finish this season without losing the game but if we play like just on the points on the tight no makes sense right right so maybe better to lose a couple games and then win some games right so but also I'll take to play a little bit that we play a little bit better and from from like me I'm defender guy I, I would like to don't lose any games this be amazing you know for all back line with Bushi and R4 but still I want to play like team you know yeah. I don't want to just like uh, look for myself and for back line okay we we keep tight we keep zero behind and we don't care how we play yeah. so I want to play good football you know I want to because I know that we can play good football yeah you know Agreed. and we have like good good players so why not to try to be the best the best team in the in the league because what I saw like kind of uh, spring season I didn't I didn't see like some crazy teams some like teams who is like like here and another team like uh, behind like a lot so yeah. every everybody's pretty it's, equal it's pretty really, yeah, yeah you know so I expect to keep the same the same uh, mentality every single game yep. go every game like uh, on the on the weekend don't looking for for two weeks or three weeks yep. just looking for next game like Minnesota example on Saturday yep. and take the three points and then really thinking about uh, next game so I don't want looking too far for the end of the season we already know that we're playing for playoffs right, right. so this be cool but still I don't like we, 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 we talk a little bit about this system like uh, goal score and head of head right. I don't like this system like uh, 10 games sprint 10 games right. you yeah. you won you play playoffs this is a little bit confused is really <laughs> yeah. I don't know the double it's season look, thing yeah it's look look I mean what he's we, saying we, that it's not like uh, it's, it's maybe not. You, you you split it into equal amount of games yeah right. I mean I know it's yeah. difficult so, so the amount of teams we so, have but right I mean you got like a little 10 game season and then you have a 25 game season right yeah so, and, but you right. know what what is the worst uh, but I, I don't feel that this be the same for for uh, for this team because we're looking to to win all all the games right right, right. But example, now if I if I lost one game, I said like, okay, who cares? Maybe, yeah. you know, I can say like, oh, who cares? I will play play, I I playing play, I will play Plays. playoff yeah. like on the end of the season, and I I need just to win that game and I go to final game, right? Right. So I can lose every single game next 20, 21 and still I'll In be like uh, yeah. for playoffs. I, I mean. Trust me, that is a little I, bit like really. I won't stupid, even get into stupid. how I feel about that. But how goofy that is. Like, so I won't even do like Cindy said, for you, like, we, for you, Cindy, I will not get into that. Yeah, so. I mean, like Cindy <laughs> said, we're looking to go like to be first team who will win like he's, both. Vuko, both Vuko, he's spring. giving you, he's giving you the the key, like the key spring, <laughs> like spring and fall He's done season, this twice right? now. It's it's the hey, Vuko. <laughs> <laughs> wrap okay, it up no, I love you and wrap it up yeah. yes and yeah that's it <laughs> <laughs> but anyway hey, let's, let's uh, all right so make sure there are tickets still available on Saturday get out there yes not only is it is it a game against Minnesota um, they they score a lot of goals we are second in that um, but also it's craft beer night mm. which is our favorite mm -hmm. which is great come on out grab some beers come watch an amazing team get your tickets in 11.com uh, there's also packages to get both your entry into craft beer night as well as the game come watch these guys bust it out i'm going you can get more watch and, <laughs> and get autograms after the game from Cini and Vuko. oh all right yeah. oh yeah, we'll be, yeah we'll be there for yeah we're staying uh, yeah. uh us two are the oh two you got the, the, the autograph game. signing yeah, yeah. okay so, and is that that's behind yeah. the e-school right yeah okay okay good behind the e-school Cini and Vuko signing autographs uh Head over to permanentrelegation.com, sign up for the Euchre tournament. Right. Uh, belt's right there. 
July 20th. Here, I'll give it to it. Let's have Vuko hold it. Vuko, you got to get your hands on this. Thing. There you go, buddy. <laughs> exactly. There we go. It's true. Sweet. There you go. Uh, July 20th going to Playworks Indie. All, all proceeds on there. Uh, thank you again to Fisher Shadham. Yes. Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, iTunes. iTunes. Google Play. Website. At all K that Shreer, shit. At Cibala. At, at PR uh, S. Ubi Parabovich. 28. 28. 28. And at, at Shirtless, shirtless Vuko. Vuko. Follow me, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> at, at Shirtless Vuko. <laughs> please, <laughs> please follow Shirtless Vuko. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, please. Yeah. Right. Well, thank, thank, you, thank you, gentlemen. Vuko is we edited. appreciate you. And thank you very, very much for, for coming out. No, thank you guys, guys for having us. Appreciate thank it. You guys. You're awesome, thank guys. You. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Glory, glory, men united. Zlatan. Hala.